Wimsett and Beardsley are known for their essays, The Intentional Fallacy, published in 1946, and The Affective Fallacy, published in 1949. The central propositions of their criticism are 1. They acknowledge that the cause of a poem is a designing intellect. However, they claim that the notion of design or intention is not a standard of literary critical interpretation. Second, they raise the questions how a critic might find out what a poet's intention was and what is effectively the central claim of a poem. If the poet succeeds, then the poem itself shows what the poet is trying to do. If the poet did not succeed, then the poem is not adequate evidence. So the critic must go outside the poem for evidence of an intention. Therefore, the poem is ineffective. Third, a poem should not mean but be. A poem can be only through its meaning, since its medium is words. Poetry differs from practical messages. A poem is successful only if we correctly infer the intention. This is an effective statement of the new critical position that the poem is an autonomous verbal structure which has its end in itself. It has no purpose beyond its existence as an aesthetic object. It is not answerable to criteria of truth, accuracy of representation or imitation or morality. Finally, the thoughts and attitudes of a poem can be attributed to the dramatic speaker or persona of the poem and not directly to the author. Wimsett and Beardsley opposes the romantic intentional fallacy. That is, the idea a poem echoes the soul of its author and it embodies his intentions or psychological circumstances. They emphasize that the key words of the intentional school are romantic words such as spontaneity, sincerity, authenticity and originality. These terms of analysis should be replaced by integrity, relevance, unity and function. These terms which they claim to be more precise than the romantic words. The word affection is used by philosophers to refer to emotion, mental state or disposition. Affective fallacy occurs when we attempt to explain or interpret a poem through recourse to the emotions or mental state produced in the reader. Intentional fallacy is a confusion between the poem and its origins. Affective fallacy is a confusion between the poem and its results, what it is and what it does.